We have come full circle. I think uh, earlier in the 20th century and actually before that, where we didn't have antibiotics and we didn't have surgery at the level we have now, uh, people worked at creating environments to help cure patients and, and assist patients who couldn't be cured uh, in environments that uh, they found helpful. And probably the tuberculosis sanitarium is the most obvious example of this. But this is at a time where we didn't have the drugs to cure these things. So we created environments to cure people as best we could. And that had to do with natural light, good ventilation, uh, access to the outdoors, good food. All these things were essential elements to make people better. Then following, frankly, the uh, revolution with antibiotics, starting with the Second World War and on, um, hospitals became uh, places where the cure was related to technology, to pills, to drugs, to intravenous therapy, to surgery. And people said that's what's important for cure. And the environment became very, very secondary. We started building buildings that were more about the building than it was about the experience of the patient. And um, it worked. Cures were better, things were getting, uh, outcomes were far better, but they weren't 100%. And we've really come full circle now and said, how can we make the outcomes better than just the technology? And we've come back and added those features that we had previous to the 1950s back into the equation again. So the campus setting, the outdoor environment, uh, access to the out of doors for patients at all times, uh, daylighting, better food, uh, more engagement with the family. So we're bringing these two things together again. Uh, one does not work without the other. And, uh, I've been really blessed to be part of that uh, 20, 25 year experience of all of this coming back uh, to become an essential part of the healthcare experience.